So Darren, we uh, we got over the, over the line in the end, but uh, what, what's your take on the whole on the whole game? Listen, we're, we're pleased to win any game. I mean, whether we play well or we play poorly, it's irrelevant. You, when you rise on Saturday morning, you really want to win football matches, and we're not we're not really in the period of the season where the aesthetics of it, how it looks, are as important as what is the actual outcome and what have you taken from the game. And it's a very tough game. I thought they played very well. And I thought just at the end there, a little bit of character, a little bit of quality and character from from key individuals, you know, ensured that we, you know, that we won the game. And um, what what was the sort of message at half time, in, and, and looking into the second half? Because I thought, well, we just O'Connell wanted, came on quite early, didn't he? We came on at half time, um, yeah. but he um, the, the the big thing when you when you're managing or when you're coaching uh, on at games. You're not there to improve the players. You're there to provide solutions for the team. It's a very, very different way of thinking. If you've been in development, as I have for 15 years, when you're in development, you think about how can I improve that individual over a longer term period. Between three and five, you've got to try and give solutions. Now, fortunately for me, with the way Drew and uh, John are with, with me and this team, we had the necessary resources to, to make changes. And all three changes were really, really impactful. Really impactful yeah. because we didn't pass the ball very well the whole game. And then when Marcus comes into play, it means that you don't really have to pass it as well as you might have done. So he kind of softens that performance level. And then Wakefield, when anyone's top, even when people are fresh, Wakefield is as athletic as a Daly or a Brown. Or and Charlie O'Connell really changed the angle and dynamic of our play because he allowed us to travel down the side of the flanks of the pitch and, and have some some composure, you know, some real composure. And uh, I thought it was really important. To, I thought first half we looked very, very tight, very tense. Every touch was poor. But second half with that, uh, the, the changes were were really important. And, and I've got to be honest, as much as any manager that comes out to speak to you wants to say it was their substitutions, it's not. It's the players that I'm allowed to recruit. And the amount of them are allowed to recruit, so you know that those those decisions and those wins are they're, they're really for John and Drew because they give me the opportunity to utilise that that sort of quality. And when you are you know one nil down into whatever it was, 70 minutes or so on, I mean I suppose it's the whole team, but particularly the older players who've sort of been there, done that, they've been in this situation before, who who make a difference? Mm, no, I, th I think everyone's been in a losing position in their football career. They've Scott and Joe and Josh and the, like you said the older ones may have been in there a lot longer and done you know seen it a lot more winning and losing. But I think we're all as human beings and especially with our job in football, I think we all know how it feels to be losing and maybe underperforming. It's not a very nice feeling. But the, the, the most important thing we kept it at one, which means we're always in a game. And because again all about recruitment. You know, someone like Armand. I mean, I took that top goal scorer off. And we must remember that. We have Wakefield, we have Deckers, we had uh, O'Connell. And I thought they made a real, real positive impact on the game. And the last 10, 15 minutes meant because the game was still in our reach, we, we had an opportunity to still win it. And a, a word on the crowd. I mean, they're probably as loud as I've heard them. I think all season. I'm, I'm no, really excellent, excellent, and. Um, brilliant and at the end things like that those moments where especially in England and I've been lucky to coach around Europe um, in England we, we want to see in human endearment we want to see trying we want to see effort and blocks and that's our kind of culture and with this group their character is so robust and so uh, I won't say weathered but so uh, experienced well, maybe some. and uh, and because of that they're able to think still clearly under you know poor performances well, I, I stood here i stood with you um after the olden game thought we played really really well but we lost yeah so they doesn't matter we won so i think that's the important thing and our football club wants to see wins i think our supporters are that and i thought and i think i hope that the supporters um, at the end there, that little connection with the player, they could see the, you know, the gratitude the players had for them. And we know that it's a big, big win. It's a big, big win. Yeah. Yeah. And um, 
and it keeps us just ticking over nicely over ahead of Saturday. Uh, yeah, ahead of so Tuesday. certainly the, the, the supporters play their part in getting us over the Excellent. line as well. Excellent, really, really great. You know, we will. Um, it is unfortunately that time of the season where the the actual viewing of it is has, unfortunately for me as a, as the as the football coach it has to take second place to the accumulation of points. Yeah. If we were in August now and we were trying to build a team and improve, it's a little bit of a different mentality. But I um, uh, players were they, they never gave up and they always stuck in there. And that's why this crowd, that's why our crowd, sorry. And this group of players have such a wonderful connection. And back at the Lathwaite on Tuesday with, with Barnet, which are finally playing Barnet at home. And uh, again, I'm sure there'll be a good turnout that game. And uh, yeah. hope a noisy, noisy turnout and we'll absolutely we carry on together. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Daryl. Thank you.